Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to BCW. We are back again. How do we get so much pyro? I don't even know. Because this arena is too small. We are the biggest con in wrestling. And welcome back to yet another edition of BCW. We're coming to you live here on YouTube and coming to you from Marseille in France. So we we're going to have a good time here on BCW right here tonight. BCW comes to you live from France and in the city of love, what better way to have two huge title matches including our main event, Matt Cardona versus The Game Triple H for that television championship. We saw last week Matt Cardona attacking The Game before his matchup with Rey Mysterio. The Game requested Cardona, Cardona requested the title to be on the line, Triple H accepted and here we are, main event time, television title, Matt Cardona versus The Game Triple H, as well as that, another title match we mentioned, it is the tag team titles, the Bay Bay, the Drip Bay Bay, sorry, Adam Cole and Seth Rollins go teaming again to take on the Lucha Bros for those tag team championships. Currently undefeated, the Lucha Bros since becoming champions, they have not lost a step, but can the Drip Bay Bay bring it to the champion? As well as that, movement's match in action, Hikaru Shida, Take on Becky Lynch, as well as that, our opening contest. It comes to you right here, right now. We have it here. The Ultimate Warrior takes on the Swamp Monster, and that's Bray Wyatt. Both these men were involved in matches at some point. I think they were involved in the same. No, they weren't. Well, Warrior was involved in Fatal 4 last week. Plus, Swamp Monster took on Roddy Piper. Both come with losses. It's both going to get wins here tonight. Who will get that win? We're about to find out as the Ultimate Warrior takes on the Swamp Father right here, right now on B. CW. It's always good to be back here in BCW, the arena is full, and we have the ultimate warrior. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Wait a minute, David Cameron! He's interrupted the entrance of the old warrior. We have scheduled a match for the Swamp Father, but the warrior, oh, it doesn't really care because the warrior is taking care of business. But David Cameron interrupting the first matchup here. Well, this is going to be a short episode of Beast Derby tonight. David Cameron taken down by the warrior. The warrior's entrance interrupted by Cameron. Rushed down the ring, and here we are. My goodness. This rivalry seems to not be over between these two. David Cameron wants a full Ultimate Warrior, and I think he's going to regret that right now because Warrior is putting a beat down on this man. Suplex from the Warrior. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Superplex. The Super of the Plexes. Oh, wait. Cameron's back up. Big Larry. Oh, didn't take him down. That was a huge Larry. But this is done. Oh, my God. Tossing him across the ring. What a chaotic start to BCW. I can't believe this. The Swamp Father is still down the swamp waiting to come up, but I don't think he's going to have a warrior. He supposedly won that one. A chaotic start to BCW. Incredibly, the other warrior was due to a match. Didn't have his match. That was not. That was meant to be our opening contest. I was I thought, actually quite shocked. I didn't expect that to happen. David Cameron running down the entranceway, but got beat down very quickly by the other warrior. But that feud seems to continue on. And speaking of matches coming on here, coming up next... We have, which will now be our opening contest, the boys taking on DIY, both looking to get in the tag team rankings, looking to get back at the tag team titles that's currently held by Lich Bros. Who will be winning this one? We're about to find out as the boys take on DIY right now. Well, the arena was red hot for that David Cameron Warrior. A little bit of noise, but a little quieter for this next matchup here. That's going to be the officially the first match. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 576 pounds, Mark Henry and Heath Slater, the Brotherhood. The boys are back in town. Mark Henry, Heath Slater. Excited to have him here back on BCW, of course. The only team at this point to have ever had a victory over Lucha Bros. They feel like they could do it again at some point. They've not done so since, but they always know that they've beaten the Tag Team Champions. But can they win here tonight? We're about to find out. The 
Rina is dead quiet for this matchup. A little bit of noise here as the up comes D I. And their opponents at a combined weight of 400 pounds, Tomaso Champa and Johnny Gargano. D I. DIY on their way to the ring here. Johnny Organo, Tommaso Ciampa. It's good to see them once again. And they are both looking to get up in the ranks of the tank. They're looking to get to the Lucha Bros at some point. And they're looking to see if they can get the win over the boys tonight. They've had big wins in BW. But this would be a huge win for them if they can beat the only team to beat the Lucha Bros in BCW. Will they do it? We're about to find out as we get this tiny cut of the way between DIY and the Bulls. This crowd is quiet. Very quiet. For Champa and for Mark Henry starting us off here. The bell rings. Here we go. And there's a little bit of crowd there. They're doing some commentary as well. That's pretty nice. And a little side rush and leg sweep there from Champa. Just a little bit of noise there from the crowd. Stomping away by Champa. This is, of course, normal tag team rules. I did not set this up. I wish I set it up in a tornado tag team match because it would be over very soon than this tag team match. But look at this, Mark Henry. Look at this. Look, Gory. Look at that submission. I thought he's. Every time I see him do that, I'm thinking Gory Bomb, but it's not going to happen. And Mark Henry shoving Champa away. But I guess, you know, now that we have our opening contest, this is our first opening contest. I guess the length of the match will make up for the lost time. For that first matchup, but look at this. Oh, Mark Henry, look at the strength. That's why they call him the world's strongest man. Picks him up. Gorilla Press. Oh, spin him around. Gorilla Press. Incredible, Incredible feat of strength there from Mark Henry. And he's looking at Johnny Gargano. Say, see what I did? That's what I do. That's what I do. Tags into Heath Slater. Heath Slater's got kids, remember? And now Slater taking on Champa. Very nice side rush and leg sweep. There you go. Great job there from uh, Heath Slater. And look at this. Ch Gargano wants in, but Slater, good, quick to stop any sort of hot tag. Reverse there from Champa, though. Now to Master Champa, standing guillotine, drops to the floor. Guillotine choke in. I think it looks in. Uh, you got to think about that arm. It's going to be underneath the neck, that jaw of Heath Slater. But Champa didn't really get a good grip there. Heath Slater it will break it away, escape successfully. Thank you, crowd. Jawbreaker. Indeed it was. He says, staring down champ, we shouldn't. Instead, you're looking at Gargano. St step up into Guri. The first move of the matchup. A step up into Guri from Johnny Gargano. And now, uh, thank you, crowd. Yeah, the tag was made. Well done. Good call. And Gargano double foot stomp. There you go. Crowd's coming alive a little bit more for Gargano. And for that kick as well. Johnny Wrestling showing what he can do here. Gargano drop kick. Now he's Slater looking to get tagged in as well, but oh, look at this. Slater, nice little forearm there, rushing Gargano. This has been a very interesting contest here. The crowd uh, mixed about it. Some people are giving the thumbs down. That's pretty rude. They're giving you entertainment here. Come on now. Gargano punched him straight down the floor. And we got to saw that, that those three, you know, those three people Whoa. in those chairs. There, super kick from Gargano. They seem to be there all the time. I do not get why they are sat there in people's seats. I mean, look at this. It's like, what the hell's going on there? Sorry, I'm staying away from the action. Gargano and Slater on the outside. Oh, it's going to end up a counter, isn't it? What's that insecurity missing? Slater now. Picks him back up. It's kicked to the gut. I thought he was going for DT or something. Kicked to the gut from Gargano. And Gargano interested in bringing us to the ring. He's interested in keeping it. Oh, wait. Smart from Gargano. Goes back in the ring. Oh, he's stuck on the top rope. He's stuck on the top rope. He tags in Champa. The tag is made. And Champa could take a counter picture if he wants to here. I think he will. No rush to going outside. Quick tag. Slater got to get back in the ring. Slater. Slater. Counted out. He just was not quick to react. DIY. Wins by count out. The game crashed. Why did you crash there? For fuck's sake. This game is driving me up the wall here. Coming up next on BCW, we have Ricardo Sheeta taking on Becky Lynch in a one-on-one matchup here. 
course, no real contenders yet for Nikki Bella's title, but I do have something to say about that. The title Nikki Bella currently has will be defended next week. Uh, Nikki Bella, you know, I feel like she'll be defending her title. Danny Bryan should be defending his title. That'll be happening down the line as well. But for Nikki Bella, I think she needs, she needs a title match. And, uh, well, we'll see who will be the challenger next week for Bella's championship. But right now, we're about to see Shooter in action against Big Well, the crowd's alive for this one, finally. I just hope this game doesn't crash again. It says we've got no title matches, but I assure you we have two title matches later on tonight. Mikado Shida hopes to be in the title match next week against Nikki Bella. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan, Hicks R. Ruth Snuka. Mikado Shida back in action. That guy loved it. And Mikado Shida is excited to be back inside the BCW ring. The lights go down. We know which bad douche. Bad. Turn around. Get a little bit. Mikado Shida ready for action here against Becky Lynch. Can she get a W? We're about to find out. Here is Mikado Shida. And she awaits the last kicker. Becky Lynch. Thank you. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch back here again. Another week for Becky Lynch. She has one loss, one win under her belt. And now looks to see yet build on that momentum. I believe she won last week anyway. But Becky Lynch, very excited to have her back here on BCW. Very excited to have her compete in the ring. And this should be an interesting match here against Ricardo Trita. Becky Lynch, definitely a big time player, big time bet. Is looking to do the business here tonight. Inside the squared circle. Becky Lynch. This is Kato Shida. A dream match of sorts is next on BCW. The crowd on the side of Becky Lynch. Kato Shida has got to block out the noise, as it were. So she doesn't get distracted. The bell rings. Here we go. I'm going to check up on Becky Lynch from last week. I believe she won her match last week. I knew she lost to her debut matchup. I'm typing in Becky Lynch, so I'm not going to find it like that. I'm going to find through on my own channel here. Oh, Becky Lynch with a little punch there. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to find Becky Lynch's last week in her matchup. She definitely competed. She definitely competed last week. And I believe she beat Alexa Bliss. So, there you go. At least I think she beat Alexa Bliss anyway. We're definitely looking for it. But was it Alexa Bliss? What did I count out? That was a draw. The draw last week, Ashida take it to Becky Lynch at the moment. The draw between two, count out draw between Becky Lynch, not Becky Lynch, between uh, Karu Ushida and uh, the person in the ring. No, Becky Lynch beat Sasha Banks, I believe. That's it, Becky Lynch won against Sasha Banks. I can't remember if she beat the week who she lost to. But Becky Lynch lost a match, she's won a match, and now she looks to gain give two wins out of two. Oh God, wheelbarrow from Shida. Who's looking to get a win herself here? You gotta feel the Karoshita should be in line for that title match against Nikki Bella. Sorry, I just screamed there. I just did not expect that move from Shida. Shida with the elbow to the back of the head there. And now Becky Lynch reverses to the outside. Oh, Becky Lynch a little bit of head bang. She's saying, My neck's all good, Chad. Oh, wait a minute. It's Becky Lynch with a suplex, bringing it back into the ring. Lovely suplex there from the last kick of Becky Lynch. And now head scissor. Now look at those elbows to the head. Top of the head there of Hikaru Shida. There's a cover. Oh, only, uh, only a zero. No one count for Becky Lynch. As Shida back to her feet. Shida looking to get a win here from last week's draw. Becky Lynch looking to build on momentum for her first win in BCW against Sasha Banks. I'm struggling to figure out who she faced in her debut. It's boggling my mind at the minute. But it doesn't matter. I knew she lost, though. Shot by Shida. And look at this. Ricardo Shida. Look at that backbreaker. There it is. And now stretching out. Shayna Baszler. It was Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler. I remember now. Shayna Baszler. She lost to Shayna Baszler. Okay. See? I knew somebody. It was Shayna Baszler. 
We know Shayna Baszler could be in the match next week against Nikki Bell. We don't know. But I feel like Sheeta deserves a title match. She's been uh, very consistent in BCW. Nice little suplex there from Sheeta. She's had a few good wins here. And one person we'll see more of is John Kiona. We've not seen her in quite a bit. Double on the hook. Suplex taking her over. But Lynch is back up to her feet straight away. She does not care. No soul for Sheeta's move. There's a leg lariat from Lynch. Becky Lynch, DDT, nicely done, there we go, Becky Lynch is feeling it right here, right now, Becky Lynch kicks to the legs of Sheeta, look like the legs anyway, and now working that arm on the ropes there, Sheeta caught, in a difficult position here against Becky Lynch, oh, for the way for Becky Lynch, will be huge for her in BCW, you know Sheeta's been very consistent here, since arriving on the promotion, but a win for Lynch would be fantastic for her. This from Sheeta gets out of it here. Now gripping Lynch. Looking for that jawbreaker, there it is. This show is going to be such a short episode. I'm glad actually. I could probably get it done all in one rather than multiple days as. Sheeta looking to do a nice little wheel. Oh, nice. Into the bottom rope. A little slingshot. I said wheel power. I don't know why. But slingshot into the bottom rope to Lynch. And now look at this. Oh, wait a minute. Just a psycho driver. There it is. Ricardo Sheeta may have just done the deal here against Becky Lynch. The cover. Referee getting position. He is. One. Two. Oh, we got two. Not enough to take down the last kicker who is back on her feet. With that double axe handle missing. Sheeta, oh, went for that knee. Reversal from Lynch. There's a bulldog. Face first to the canvas goes. Ricardo Sheeta. Now working that arm of Sheeta. Now Lynch looking for something here to take down Sheeta. She may be thinking, there it is. The Disarmor. The Disarmor on Sheeta. She's in trouble. Oh, no. Sheeta gets her arm out. Maybe being like a lack of grip from Lynch there. Allows you to pull away and get away safely. Double under suplex. The retaliation that black that this armor. Sheeta wants the crowd on her side. The crowd heavy chance for Becky earlier. Look for that German suplex. Oh, brilliantly from there from Sheeta. She's fired up, baby. She's fired up. She's looking to seal the deal here. Lariat. Lariat. Ducks under. Super kick. Sheeta is on fire. Ricardo Sheeta kicks the gut. Is she going for it here? Oh, wait a minute. It's a submission. No. Stone breaker. Ricardo Sheeta lands it flush. And Ricardo Sheeta looking to do. Oh, no. Reversed into a neck breaker from Lynch. A vital reversal at this stage of the match. One. Two. Oh, not a two count. Only the one for Lynch. As Sheeta is back up on her feet. The crowd is eating this match up. Great reverse from Lynch who caught the punch. She got up. Look out here. DDT. Becky Lynch is fired up, baby. The last kicker is feeling it here tonight. There's a lariat from Lynch. Another lariat from Lynch. Look out. Leg lariat. Combination of lariats here. From the arms to the legs. But Sheeta does not give a damn. She's about to do the deal. Falcon Arrow! She's not done. Sheeta's not done. Oh, she just throws her across the ring. Hikaru Sheeta is just going mental. Oh, but Lynch as well is going crazy. She's kicked the leg. Went for that punch. Oh, rolling forearm! Or rolling elbow, either one, they both hurt. Becky Lynch on the apron. She thinks she's safe, oh wait a minute. Comes back in, go for the pin. Referee counts, count you son of a bitch. One, two. Oh, Becky G escaping with a win there. Lynch now is feeling German, oh! With that suplex. Look out here, oh she's going for it again. With this armor once again locked in. Is this one in time? Oh, Sheeta immediately gets out of it. Jesus Christ. Hikaru Sheeta 
Smart. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not again. Psycho driver. And that could be it for Becky Lynch. The cover. One. Two. Oh, Becky Lynch. There's life for the last kicker. Sheena can't believe it. She thinks he's done the deal. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, God, pump kick. What a pump kick from Sheeta. And Lynch is in trouble. Lynch is in trouble. Oh, she's about to do the deal one more time. Falcon. Arrow. But Sheeta thinks that's not enough. Forearm. Kick. Oh, God, what's this? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. She's got her in the power one position. Lynch is in trouble. Buckle bomb. No. Oh, face first. A variation of the snake eyes there. In that power one position. And now, alley you. Oh, down goes Lynch. Hikaru Shida. Picking it back up. There's a forearm. Oh, went for that forearm. Lynch. We're still staggering the last one. She's going to land it. Michinoku driver. That could be it. One. Two. Lynch again. Gets her shoulder up. And Lynch is looking for the ropes. Helping her up here. Hikaru Shida. Shida's going up top. I don't know why. Hikaru Shida. Is waiting for Lynch to get off the ropes. But Lynch I think just can't. She's using the ropes to stay up. She can't stand up at the moment. Shida waiting. For her time. I'm waiting for this to go too. Lynch is still staggered on the ropes. Here we go. Oh, big drop kick to Lynch. Beautifully done from Sheena. I guess it was worth the wait. I thought maybe Lynch get a reversal and she had enough time on the ropes. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second here. Oh, scoops that loves on her left arm. And now Lynch is dragging it towards the center of the ring. Look out here. Drop it to the back. A highly cont contested battle here between Lynch and Sheeta. We thought Sheeta would get the win with the Falcon Arrow, but it didn't happen. We thought Sheeta would, would attack with this armor. Didn't happen. Drop kick. Oh my god, that was beautiful from Sheeta. Hikaru Sheeta wants the crowd on his side here. Lynch is just, again, using those ropes to get back to her feet. She has taken a lot of punishment in this matchup, and the ropes are her only. Oh, the only reason why she's standing right now. Lynch in the corner. Sheeta has plans for Lynch. With those shoulders. To the gut. And there you go. Uh-oh. Now stomping away on Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch is just... Has given everything. Sheeta as well has given everything. Oh, wait a minute. Lynch is still in this matchup. Look out. Oh, beautifully done. Lynch looking for the sleeper hold into a rear naked choke. I'm, I'm sure she comes to the ropes there, ref. No? Sheeta no one near the ropes, apparently. This could be it for Lynch to get a victory against Sheeta. But Sheeta, look at this. Breaking out of it. Smart from Hikaru Sheeta to break out of that submission maneuver. And Lynch, oh. Oh, Larry from Sheeta. Hikaru Sheeta picking it back up. There's a kick. Oh no, she's going for it this time. The stool breaker lands it. Going for the pin. Leg hooked. The cover. One, two, three. And Hikaru Shida in the end gets that victory. That was a highly great, highly interesting matchup there. Contested beautifully. We saw multiple psycho drivers from Hikaru Shida. We saw this Stormbreaker landed more than one occasion. The second time was the charm for Hikaru Shida. There's another Psycho Drive for you. And this was the, the Michinoku Drive. We thought that was it for Lynch. But it was not. As you see here, Lynch kicking out. And this was the end here. That Stormbreaker into a pinning predicament. The referee counted here one, two, three. And after that matchup, how can you not say Hikaru Shida should be in that matchup next week with Nikki Bella for that women's title? It should happen. Hikaru Shida.
Oh, God, I'm spent after that. Jesus Christ. Dakota Shida again the victory here tonight on BCW against Becky Lynch, who put in a great effort. Again, a great showing. But in the end, Hikaru Shida proved to be the better person and the victor here tonight on BCW. All right, coming next to you guys, it does not say it's for the titles, but trust me, it is. This game crashes, it says, uh-uh, it ain't no title match, son. Well, it is. Tag Tiles are online here, the Lucha Bros defending once again, taking on the team Adam Cole, baby, who you can see there behind the shoulder of Seth Wilder. It's a drip, baby. Back again, looking to get this win here against Lucha Bros. Can they do it? Here tonight in Marseille, France, City of Love. We're about to find out as the Bros defend against the Drips. Oh, I hope the next game is better than this one. Jesus Christ. Here we go. Tag Team Tiles on the line. Our first of two title matches here tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And at a combined weight of 427 pounds. The Drip Baby looking to get the job done here tonight. Seth Wallen coming down the ring here. And of course, we have, I think we have five teams here. We're looking for that sixth team. I'll definitely need to pick something out for we get to the end of time here at BCW in 2K20. The Drip looking to become time champion. Yeah. Let me wait. The tag team champ. Challenges to become only the second team to become tag team champion BW. But well, they have a tough test as they take on. And which at a combined weight of 427 pounds, the Luchador. Ray Phoenix, Pentagon Jr. Both on their way to the ring. In what should be a very interesting matchup here. Pentagon Jr. and Ray Phoenix. Since that first matchup against the boys where they lost, since then they have not lost a step or missed a single step because they have been absolutely incredible. As tag team champions, the normal tag champions, they've still been the champions since. The belt's inception at BCW1 Money in the Bank. They successfully defended the titles not so long ago. And now are looking at the Drift Baby in this tag team time match. We might find out who will be leaving here at Time Chance. Will it be those two, the Lucha Bros or the Drift? We're about to find out right now. This is going to be a really short episode of BCW as the Drift Baby take on. The Lucha Bros for tag tiles are on the line. The game doesn't refuse to acknowledge it so because it crashed and they went, no, no, no. oh my god, immediately Canadian Destroyer there from Pentagon. Ray Phoenix and Adam Cole. Oh god, what's Adam Cole doing? Power driver? No way. Oh, shouts to Kevin Steen. Jesus Christ. Pentagon going for the pin. Adam Cole thinks he's wild. Well, yeah, he's got it, he's fine. Look at Adam Cole, drops him down there. Look at this, Seth Wildens, Irish whip. Oh, runs into trouble. Whip that drop kick, miss it. As we mentioned about Lucha Bros, they have been absolutely incredible since arriving on the scene. I mean, their first matchup was not to be desi so desired, but the, after that, an almost perfect record in BCW. The Drip are looking to make that more unperfect from that one defeat and make it a two defeats. To be only the first team to defeat the Lucha Bros in quite some time. Adam Colby and Ray Phoenix here. Look at Wow, looks good. Okay. I'm just looking for that. I can always go for it. Snake Eyes? Oh, Snake Eyes, nice. Adam Cole. Oh, drop to the knee. Yushi Garoshi. Seth Wallace dealing with Pentagon Jr. in the corner there. Now the Drip are taking control of this matchup here. Both men. Oh, with that integrity missing. Ray Phoenix reversing. Oh, but the Lucha Bros will do this comeback here. Larry, oh, the top goes Wow, Holland. And Pentagon can help his brother here if he wants. I think he is. Oh no, he's going to the outside. I don't know why he went that way, but fair enough. Maybe he wants to loosen 
Calories here. Oh my god, back body drop from the top. Well, I think it was. Yeah, Adam Cole's on top. And while it's in the ring post. Oh god. Oh god, kick to the head. Kick to the dome. While and so dealing with Pentagon Jr. Oh, he tripped over the steps. Nice little leg drop there from Ray Phoenix. And now the cover is on Adam Cole. Retention on the way here for the Lucha Bros. Adam Cole kicking out of one. Wildlands going back to the outside to deal with Pentagon. There's a chops to back. Wildlands, oh god. Oh god, gee, what the fuck was that? That was like a weird backbreaker there from Wildlands. Oh god, on the outside, the combo kick from Ray Phoenix on Adam Cole. Cole back to his feet. Adam Cole wants Pentagon Jr. now. Um, oh god, sends the steel steps. Smart move. What the fuck is going on? Apologies for swearing here for the Gomsky team, but I do not know what's going on. Adam Cole just took on two people with one thing, with one shoulder tackle. I don't even know. Adam Cole and Ray Phoenix again fighting, and now here we go. No counter forces. This is for turning the rules. And look at Adam Cole. Oh, not happy with the uh, Pentagon. He's with him instead. Sends him away the Wildlands and thinks, here you go, buddy. I'm gonna use solid here. Ray Phoenix is not happy. He's gonna go back to the outside. Don't tell me Adam Cole's on the way. And what? And Ray Phoenix helping his brother. Oh, they they switched spot people now. Pentagon going back into the ring. Adam Cole not following. Wildlands is. I don't know what's going on. It's all chaotic at the moment. Tag team titles on the line. Oh, super kick from Adam Cole. Ray Phoenix throws Wildlands to the other side of the re arena here. Next half hour with the red t-shirt on. The dude in front row with the Kill Bill jacket. I rate that very much. Oh, and the steps goes Adam Cole. And Wildlands sends Ray Phoenix. And now we have squad partners. Wildlands now deal Ray. What the hell is Wildlands doing? He's running sprinting. He's helping his partner. Here at the beatings. Well, wait a minute. Wildlands now going back in the ring. Ray Phoenix is going by the outside. Oh, Russian leg sweep to the outside there by Adam Cole. Ray Phoenix with a dropping missing as Cole gives a Pentagon Jr. Oh, wait a minute. Cole now was targeting Ray Phoenix instead. Sling Blade. Nicely done from Wildlands. Jesus Christ. Can someone stay in the ring, please? We want to get this match over with. Oh, God. And the steel steps go uh, uh, Adam Cole via Ray Phoenix. The Wildlands. Oh, Larry by Pentagon. The Dripper in trouble. The Richard Bros cleaning house the Oh, wait. Wildlands. Look at this. Oh, this is the apron. With that knee to Ray Phoenix. Ray Phoenix is like, nah, I'm just walking away. I'm cool with that. Adam Cole trying to get back up. Oh, and Wildlands against him. I thought he was just sitting back in the ring, but the steps have been quite a nice uh, little weapon to use for Wildlands. Oh, in the that ring post, I believe. Sent uh, by Wildlands to the Pentagon. Adam Cole using those steps now to throw Pentagon. And now Wildlands back in the ring. Ray Phoenix now finally we're back in the ring. May get a pinfall here between either of these men here. And Adam Cole uses a Pentagon. Look at this. Oh, beautiful backbreaker there from Seth Wallace. Adam Cole. Oh, he's going crazy. Look at Adam Cole. Now sending Pentagon back into the ring. And all four men are back inside the squared circle. Adam Cole. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Oh, God. Nice maneuver there from Pentagon. But look at Seth Wallace. Oh, sling blade into that bottom rope. A slingshot, sorry. Into that bottom rope. Not sling blade. Apologies. Still seems great earlier. This from Penta. Oh, beautifully done. Look at this from Wildlands, though. Super kid. Penta and Seth are dealing damage here to Cole and Phoenix. It's not happening. Cover from Wildlands. Pentagon is dealing with Adam Cole. One. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that was very close. Adam Cole kind of made a barricade of himself there to get hit by Pentagon to let the count continue for Wildlands there. Great from Adam Cole. Irish whip. Oh, Ray Phoenix team with Seth Rollins now. We saw partners again. Adam Cole now team Ray Phoenix. Wait a minute. Pentagon. What the Pentagon do it? What's Cole doing? Cole? Oh, wait a minute. Hey, that's Cole's move! Out of our sunrise! Hey, Cole, you gotta do something about that, buddy? He's gonna try and win with it. Adam, you better be careful. Adam Cole, the cover from Pentagon to retain the titles. Oh, Seth Wallace kicked out of it. He knew that was his buddy's move. 
He knew he had to kick out of that. Pentagon can't believe it. Wilder's back to his feet. Look out. Roman. Oh no, I thought he's going to German. Reversal there from Pentagon. Jesus Christ. This act has been intense. Pentagon. Wait a minute. Oh god, no. Is he going for that package pile driver? God damn! The abdominal stretch submission from Wilder's was not enough. Adam Cole could be out here from that package pile driver, I'm not going to lie. Still dragging him. Seth Rollins dealing with Ray Phoenix elbow cover from Fenta. One, two, three, and still. Tag Team Champions Lucha Bros. Seth Rollins thought he broke up the count there. Uh uh, son. The Tag Champions still the Lucha Bros. My god. There's the highlights. I just need. Hold on. One second. Oh, that was chaotic. So much going on. Seth Rollins already had stuff going on there. Adam Cole had stuff going on. There's the Panama Sunrise stole his move. Adam Cole's new Pentagon. But in the end, it was this man who got the job. Was it Pentagon? I believe it was. Here Somebody. are your winners, the Luchador. Lucha Bros retain their tag team challenges once again. Oh my god. Who is going to stop Lucha Bros? I have no idea because Lucha Bros have been unstoppable and they continue to show why they are the tag team champions of BCW. Guys, Lucha Bros on this victory as we head to our main event lead. Coming up next year on BCW, the main event of the evening is Matt Cardona versus Triple H for the television championship. Doesn't say it is, but it is. Trust me, it is the title. Matt Cardona requested the title will be on the line. Triple H wanted Matt Cardona. That was a demand from Cardona wanted the title on the line. It was accepted. And here we are at our main event for BCW. What will happen between Matt Cardona and the game? We're definitely about to find out right here, right now, as Matt Cardona challenges the title against Triple H in our main event on BCW. It's main event time here in Marseille, France. Woo, woo, woo. You know it. Here comes a man. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Did not like that much. Making his way to the ring from Long Island, New York. Weighing in at 224 pounds. Matt Cardona. Matt Cardona making his way to the ring here. His first match in quite a while at BCW, but that doesn't mean he hasn't been around here. Of course, the special event of Boxing Day Bash, he made his presence felt, taking down Eddie Kingston before his match was scheduled matchup with Matt Riddle. And then last week, took out the television champion himself for game Triple H. We find ourselves here at our main event this week. Matt Cardona may feel like he's confident tonight but he's dealing with the game ha no, Jimmy, he'll even do that triple h here we go and here it is the current reigning and defended television champion of bcw that is the game triple h Game has made his presence felt here on BCW and well since arriving I believe he's still undefeated for a money in the bank appearance but in the singles competition there is no doubt that he is undefeated in fact now has that television title to boot so to be the fastest pack at that special event the Boxing Day Bash and is now defending his title for a second time since winning his first title of the team, Cedric Alexander. Hold on, let's let him spin and we'll wrap before we talk more about Triple H. There we go. Get it all out, buddy. Do a little left? There you go. So Triple H now, with that black title, it's not meant to be blank, is ready to go here. Matt Cardona. 
would say weasel's way into this matchup by attacking the game last week on BCW. And now in City of Love in Marseille, the game is set to defend his title against Long Island IC himself, Matt Cardona, formerly known as Zack Ryder. Game stretched out there, ready to go. What we would see here between these two. Will Matt Cardona become the new title champion, becoming only the third champion of that title position? Over the game retained for a second time. And get rid of that pest known as Matt Cardona. We're about to find out here in our main event as Matt Cardona takes on the game for the television champion. Cardona and Triple H again the fans on his side the people love Triple H here we go and you know what for this matchup we all love Triple H and Matt Cardona does not love Triple H in the back of Cryo there delivered to the champion already Matt Cardona has a good chance here because last week you mentioned interrupted his entrance last week the Triple H's entrance that is before Triple H was due to schedule well scheduled to have a match with Rey Mysterio non title action that was going to be Macadona made sure that that match did not happen. And this matchup is happening for the championship. Next breaker there from Cardona now is uh, kicking the back of, there of the game. It's a good old reverse there by Triple H. Good elbow to the knee. And you see that brace there. That's probably a good place to target as well as the abdominal stretch is applied by the game. Triple H, of course, a defending champion once again. Oh, this Cardona hip toss reversal. Good move there from Matt Cardona to get out of that double stretch. Cardona now looking for also looking for here suplex. A little suplex. Oh, look at that! Lovely neck breaker. This going for a suplex in the neck breaker position. A good reverse there from the game to stop any offers from Cardona. Remember happening, but Cardona tit for tat here at the moment for both Cardona and the game. A very interesting title defense for the game. Oh god! Just took it down straight with that forearm. Punch, I don't know what that was. It definitely made an effect on the game. Oh, Lariat takes his clean, his head clean off. Rocked his shit, as they say. Game stomp. DDT kicks the midsection and a DDT to follow from the game. This is why we he is the champion. The beast that we tell him, champion. Showing what he could do here. Good elbow drop there. Of course, next week, don't forget, main event next week will be for the Women's Championship. Nikki Bella will defend her title and will confirm after tonight's matchup, it'll be against Karashida. I will make sure that'll happen. This game will not cheat me out of a title match. The cover for the game has only one count on the challenger, Matt Cardona. Here's Triple H. Here's another stomp to the midsection, and now a neck breaker to follow. Triple H has turned the matchup in his favor. It was even at the start. Now it's all about the champion and his offense right now. Matt Cardona has no chance at the moment when the game's in this sort of form. I've got to say, since becoming champion, it's only been about nearly three weeks as champion for the game. He's gone up top. This is rare for the game. Drops that knee to the chest of Matt Cardona. And the game thinks that's it. That's done. The cover is out of two. Be a kick out for Matt Cardona. As you mentioned, it's only been only three weeks of the game as champion. He's defended it twice already. It's a second down defense. Now, first defense successful, second defense is here. Will he win? Oh, good. Nice little punch to the back of Cardona. Matt Cardona looking to become the only third champion in TV title history. As Triple H, though, is not allowing him any sort of offense at the moment. And no time to breathe for Matt Cardona. The crowd on Triple H's side and over the top rope goes Matt Cardona. And now we're on the outside. Which, for Matt Cardona, is a bad place to be. You have to leave the ring to win the championship. For Triple H, a spine bust on the outside. The crowd saw that and they loved it. Triple H is just dominant at this moment. Remember, champion's advantage. Triple H can stay there as long as he likes. He can he can take a kind of loss or victory if he wants to. And there's Cardona now with some bit of offense. Some signs of life here. But Triple H is still in this matchup. Oh, I rocked him. 
He is standing Lupe Picardona with a punch himself. And look at this float over. DDT. And a six count. Cardona's got to get back in the ring if he wants to win this championship. He's got to stop the count and bring the game back into the ring. Matt Cardona can't take a count out draw or victory or even defeat. Definitely not a loss, but a win or draw is not good. Cardona smartly gets back in the ring. We have the nine, but Cardona's broken up the count there. The game. The game wants him back in that ring, and here we go. Triple H throws him back into the ring. He's not good news for Matt Cardona. Oh, he's trapped in the bottom rope, but the game doesn't care because the game's about to deliver the pedigree. And that could be that for Matt Cardona and his chance at the television championship. The game. Rolls him over for a cover. The cover's done. The one, two, three. And still, television champion of BCW. That is the game, Triple H. I see him talking trash to Cardona after the matchup there, saying, You think you can attack me last week? You think you beat me for this championship? Think again. Well, Triple H and Cardona were even at the start, but then it just turned the tide for the game's favor. When again, this is one of the moves that did that for him. The that spine bust is viciously done. And this, I believe, is the pin after the pedigree for the 1 2 3. For Triple H's retention of the title. Here is your winner. There he is, Triple H. Oh, God. He sounds to suck it. Well, I guess we'll allow him to do it. It's just for Cardona. Cardona, have a little of this crush shuffle, baby. Suck it, suck it, suck it, suck it, suck it. Triple H has won in our main event here in Marseille, France. A fantastic picture for the game. Thank you very much for watching this week's episode of BCW. We will see you next week where the women's title will be online in our main event next week. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll catch you guys next week. See you later. Take care. Peace out. And stay safe.